rolling. Check. Come and stay on the highway. Keep on thinking, move and shake it. Chilling with. I be rolling out, rolling out. Off the highway, off the highway, straight. This week on Off the Hardwood. Toronto Raptors forward Tracy Murray and Paul Jones visit the Royal Ontario Museum where they check out the new dinosaur exhibit, talk hoops, and hang out with some Raptors fans. Tracy Murray over the big C! And look at this, Tyrannosaurus batar. It's Latin, I think. 70 to 72 million years ago, man. I'm crying about 30 years, and it's 70 to 72 million years ago. This looks like a raptor. Close to it? What do you think? Close to it, probably a little bit bigger. I hear raptors get to about six feet, six, maybe six and a half feet tall. This man not only plays for the raptors, he knows all the information about the real Raptors. Well, I'm a big Jurassic Park fan, man. I have all three of them, so I, I love, um, I have a fascination of animals. I watch a lot of Animal Planet and stuff like that. And then, you know, the Jurassic Parks, I was very interested in dinosaurs too, just to learn a little bit more about them. It's, it's cool. It's back rim. Peterson with the follow. To Murray. Got it. Dial M for Murray. Well, Murray's starting to heat up. The league, nine years for you many accomplishments but what some people may not know is you own a championship ring yeah right before i came to houston right before i came to toronto uh, i was with the houston rockets with the dream and uh, he carried us literally carried us to a second championship him and clyde drexler and, and uh, that was a great experience and i'd love to be part of that again someday that, that was uh, an experience that no one can describe. You, you told me that last year that when the team was making a move into the playoffs that, that the feeling of having a ring was something that was difficult to describe. How close is this team this year to that? Well, once we, you know, when you have a guy like Dream that's been there and that's been in the wars and, and that has two of them, I have one, but mine was more or less watching. You know, I was still a young guy at that time. Dream carried his team through them wars. And, you know, we're the only two that, that, that have them. And we have a lot of guys with, like Antonio and Chris Childs with playoff experience. And, and those guys are still hungry to get a ring. So when you have that type of experience with them guys, with them veterans, and, and, and uh, we can all put it together and, and just with the mixture of the young guys, young talented guys like Vince and Mo Pete. And, we, we have all the tools here and with, with Coach Wilkins and everybody. We have all the tools here to be a championship team. Right now, we've been struggling with injuries. Mo Pete's down right now. I mean, that plays a big factor in winning the championship. Everybody has to be healthy. The team has to be running on all cylinders. When that playoff time comes, you have to be playing your best basketball. You can't wait for anybody to recover from an injury or stuff like that. I mean, you have to be running on all cylinders, everybody healthy. You guys had great chemistry in that first year as somebody who was traveling with the team a lot. You would come to the back of the plane, the area where we call the no. hood, because, because the media were not allowed to go to the front of the plane. So yourself, Tony Massenberg, Eddie Pinckney, people like that. Are you still in touch with some of those guys? Oh yeah, we see, I see Eddie whenever we go down to uh, Miami. Of course, he's doing the, the, the TV and the radio for Miami Heat. Um, I see um, Tony Massenberg whenever we play him. Of course, we see Damon. Um, there's Carlos Rogers. He's still in the league. So I, I see them guys. Um, Alvin Robertson, I, I, I see him whenever we go to San Antonio. I leave him tickets to come to the game and talk to him for a minute. And so it's good seeing them guys. And, and uh, those who I haven't seen, I, I hope to see soon because we have a special bond. A special bond being the first team. And what did you learn from some of those veterans? Alvin Robertson, uh, Brendan Malone, who was a longtime assistant, got his first head coaching gig. What did you learn from those guys? I'll tell you one thing. One thing I learned, the most I've learned was from Alvin Robertson. You sit there, you watch this guy, he, 
come off of a couple years off because of his back, and he was out there playing harder than anybody. And he was the, was his he, word, right? he, he competed his behind off. He was the oldest player on the team and competing like the youngest. And he would run, he would play hard for 48 minutes. That team saw what Alvin was doing out there. He didn't only lead by talking, he led by example. And that's what I learned from him, is to go out there and play hard for 48 minutes. Well, there are 33 of these things to see, and I think we better get a move on if we're gonna see the others. All right. You had an injury when you were a kid that many people don't know about. I see you dunking and the footwork that you use is conventional for a left-handed layup and I see those dunks from you and I remember asking you about it and you told me why you do that. Tell, tell our, our, our watchers. Well, when I was 14 years old, I was growing too fast and um, I was playing with a severe limp. A lot of pain in my, in my left hip and I was wondering what it was. And, through one doctor, they said I would never play again. The second doctor said the same thing. Then I went to Dr. Stanford Noel, who was, um, was in the orthopedic hospital. And uh, he said, oh, we're going to fix this right up. What I had was called something called slip hip epiphysis. Oh, man. Is that like a, it sounds like a dinosaur name, man. <laughs> what happened was the bone had curved, and it started slipping out of the socket. And they had to go in, cut the curved part out of the bone, insert eight pins, let the bone mend back together. And that's, that's how things was completed. It was a, I was out for the, my whole freshman year. California's all-time leading scorer, and I missed my freshman uh, year. So there could have been way more points. <laughs> right after I made varsity, man. I made varsity with a limp, and then I had to sit out. Obviously successful. So people will know now, when they see that dunk from Tracy Murray, that two-handed dunk that we see with the left-handed footwork, they'll know why it comes about. We got more to see of the exhibit. Let's get going. All right. just the thigh. That's just the thigh. <laughs> it's like Flintstone. This is just the thigh. Oh, the Brontosaurus burger? Brontosaurus. That's what it is. Brontosaurus. 